we really look after our youth. Um, as you can see, we're in a park and we've got the college across the road. We've got the library across the road. We've, we've taken care of all their needs. We've done a lot for the youth in the area. It's absolutely great. And I remember when we put the lighting in after, it was stage two, the lighting in the skate park. And one of the seniors who knew me and felt confident to say what he wanted. He said, oh, I don't agree with this lighting. The kids will be there all night, getting up to mischief. And I said, well, you've got a choice. They can be down your street rubbing and breaking windows because they're yeah. bored, because that's why they do a lot of their petty things. Or they can be active at the skate park, burning off their energy. And he goes, no, I get your point. Okay, I'll go and talk to everybody. So he'd been around and talked to people. So that made me feel good that I, I got through some of the initiatives we have done for the kids. They, they've got chance and opportunities now that they never had um, five years ago, 10 years ago, certainly not 20 years ago. The biggest thing they did 30, 20, 30 years ago was go in the river. I mean, and have a dip in the river, that was it. Or go to Tomato Lake and collect tomatoes for their mums and grannies. Yeah. Things have changed a bit since then. They have. They have. And that's due to the hard work of the local government. It's not one person. Um, I don't for one minute mean just me. It's, I come up with some ideas and talk to the mayor and officers and other councillors and they sort of see your point of view about the young ones. We get so many complaints about young ones being in the shopping centre. Um, so we've had to keep them busy. And we've done sections in the library just for young teenagers, sections for little kids. We've taken care of everybody. Yeah,